Opening up the box, we've got the Nokia 6 itself. Let's take it out of the protective plastic and set it aside for the time being. We then have the SIM ejector tool, some regular leaflets, earphones, a micro USB cable, no type C here, and then there's a travel adapter. So that's it for what's in the box. Let's now quickly get back to the Nokia 6 itself. But before we do, here's a quick snippet from my first boot video. Hearing that for the first time brought back memories. By the way, the Nokia 3650 was my first phone. What was yours? Let me know in the comments below. The Nokia 6 features a unibody metal design. We've got 2.5D glass to the front and a matte finish to the back. This is Series 6000 aluminium here. With its chamfered edges, the Nokia 6 creams premium. Feels nice on hand too. Quite sleek, 8.5mm thick and weighing in at around 170 grams. Let's now take a closer look at what's where. To the front, on top, we've got the notification LEDs, sensors, a earpiece that doubles as a speaker, an 8 megapixel camera, and the Nokia branding. That's followed by a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS LCD display, meaning a pixel density of around 400 pixels per inch. That's quite sharp for the segment. We've then got back and recent app capacitive keys that are backlit. They aren't centered and that kind of triggers the OCD in me. Anyway, the home key is not backlit, but this is a capacitive key that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Initial impressions feels quite quick and responsive. To the back, we've got a secondary noise cancelling microphone, a 16 megapixel camera with a dual tone, dual LED flash and Nokia branding. I love how the antenna bands are hit here. Kind of iPhone-esque, but with the same color tone, so nice. The 3.5mm headphone jacks present up top, volume rockers to the right, primary microphone, micro USB port and the speakers reside at the bottom. To the left, we've got a hybrid tray, meaning you can add either two SIM cards or a SIM and a micro SD card. While the Nokia 6 feels very premium, the chip insides anything but. This phone's powered by the entry-level Snapdragon 430 chip. That's 8 Cortex A53 cores clocked up to 1.4GHz each, coupled with an Adreno 505 GPU, but there is 4 gigs of RAM and a good 64 gigs of onboard storage. All this is backed up by a 3000 mAh battery. The Nokia 6 runs on Android 7 Nougat with Nokia's own custom UI, which is basically built on Cyanogen Mod 14. So once you look past the theme here, it's all quite close to stock. You don't get an app draw on first boot, but you can enable it from the settings. Nougat features like the split screen mode that lets you run two apps side by side, almost like Samsung's multi window mode, and the quick switch functionality that lets you quickly jump back and forth between the current app you use and the last app you used are present and accounted for. Google Apps aren't present here since this is a China exclusive. I'm yet to figure out how to sideload it. I will before I review this phone. Anyway, the camera app is quite simple. You can turn on the manual mode that gives you more options. You also get to turn on grid lines, switch the theme and so on. This is a 16 megapixel camera to the back with an f2.0 aperture and support for face deduction autofocus. The selfie shooter is 8 megapixels, again with an f2.0 aperture. Both priced at 16.99 yuan, that's about 17,000 Indian rupees or about 250 US dollars. That is definitely more expensive than others with similar internals. Is this a case of HMD Global trying to cash in on the Nokia nostalgia? Or is it due to the premium build and other hardware like the camera or dual speakers, Dolby Atmos, etc.? I'll have more to say in the full review. So that's it for this quick unboxing video. If you